going to do a demonstration on something new. It's called Kybella. And Kybella is a product made of deoxycholic acid. And that's a naturally occurring molecule in the skin. And what it does is it helps with the natural breakdown of fat cells. Now, this is basically a product that's been around for years since I started my residency. Or actually, after I finished my residency, um, it was called mesotherapy. And we were using the same treatment then as we are now. Um, at the time, though, it was kind of frowned upon by the FDA because it wasn't FDA approved, and there were no precise parameters that we were using to get the desired result. Well, a company called Kythera um, took this idea and this product that was being used to melt fat, and they actually started doing um, actual clinical trials on it to figure out exactly what the right dose was to, act, to get the, the best result. And so they focused in on one area, which was the chin, the submental fullness area, and they, they actually came up with the right formula to use this product to get you the desired result, which is losing that submental fullness. Um, they say about 68% of people are concerned about submental fullness. Now, what I love, what I have been, this is, this is relatively new, and in our practice we have some competing um, techniques to get rid of submental fullness. One of the techniques we have here is we have uh, light suction, which works really well. Uh, the downside to light suction for a lot of people is that it's an invasive type procedure. And a lot of our patients want minimally invasive to non-invasive. And, um, you know, I, I, I sort of laugh because when I first came to the desert, I had some friends that are plastic surgeons and they laugh at me. They're like, oh, you do that cute little stuff, a little bit filler, a little Botox, that's so cute. You know, we're real surgeons and, you know, we do facelifts and ha 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 that you do that, you know, Botox and Well, if you look around the valley, the, for those of you who live here, the plastic surgeons are advertising what? They're not advertising a lot of facelifts, they're not advertising a lot of tummy tucks, they're advertising minimally invasive procedures. So, I love my leg suction for the chin, but, um, but, you know, a lot of people want the non invasive. Now the other competing thing that we have for some mental fullness or chubby chins is um, <laughs> is cool sculpt. And unfortunately for the um, Allergan Corporation that bought Kybella was that we got cool sculpt immediately following the launch of Kybella. And you know, for those of you who don't know anything about cool sculpt, is it, does anybody not know cool sculpt? Has anybody not heard of it? Like, Everybody pretty much has heard of it now. It's, um, it's the technique where they actually, uh, it's a device that sucks your fat and freezes it, and it causes it to uh, freeze away, and it gets destroyed, and it's gone forever. So it's a wonderful, it's like the hottest thing in my practice. So we always say, what's well, hot is actually cold in our practice. <laughs> so they developed this application for the chin. It's a head that can suck the fat. And so that really sort of took place because people like it because it's one treatment. It's completely non-invasive, which means there are no needles. But, you know, what I've always liked about the idea of Kybella is that I used this treatment early on. And I sort of abandoned it because it really wasn't calibrated quite right. And so... Uh, but what I've loved about it is it causes a little bit of an inflammatory reaction. What that means is it gets your body excited, and what it can do is it can actually contract and cause some tissue contraction. Now, one of my residents who's now super successful in Pasadena, I mean, this, this girl's a superstar, has been working with Kybella, and I was like, oh, that's been sort of a dud in my practice. And she said, you're crazy. This is the best thing that ever happened, and people are going crazy over this product. And I was like, why? You know, I said, I've got, I don't need it, I've got cool sculpt, I've got my um, liposuction. And she's like, it causes tissue contraction like nothing else. So she's excited about this because you've got a couple of injections, you melt the fat, and you also get your chin to retract. And so, I mean, that's something that's super exciting. And I was, I was talking to Chad, who's, um, Chad left me, <laughs> about this uh, effect. And um, he was saying, yes, I mean, they're seeing this all over, and they're actually finding other applications right now, like in the knees, you know, because women are always coming up to me and saying, oh, can I do anything about this sagginess here? And so th they're finding that this is actually an application. You know, he wasn't saying, he just said he's heard from other companies. I'm not trying to get Chad troll. Sorry, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you'll be coming out to see me again. Um, so anyway, but he wasn't promoting it or anything like that. It was just anecdotal experience. So, 
Uh, with Michelle, she's a, a perfect candidate for this for a couple reasons. Uh, one reason is that she really doesn't have enough to really want to do a liposuction procedure. It's minimal. The other thing is um, she is not a candidate for cool stuff because there's not enough to grab. So if you look at Michelle, she's got this perfect face. <laughs> okay, yeah, so she it didn't hold on. So she got a hickey, but she didn't get a treatment. And so I love that. <laughs> are, are you old enough that people don't ask you about that? That's a little hickey spot. Oh, nice. Or do people are asking? Well, I put makeup on it. So they don't see it. Okay. I, I want you to just do an experiment for me and go out in the world like this and just ask, tell me how many people ask you. Yeah. Okay. It's, okay, just, and if you see, <laughs> Uh, you're never too old for this, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of injection. Now, this is a, I, I love what they did with this product because they made it super easy. Um, they tried this template, which is like a little kid tattoo. And what we do is it, it shows us where to inject and it shows us how much to inject. So, Michelle's getting cleaned off by Jose. No. Julio. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> I just went through all the guys in the practice. <laughs> oh. Do you all know who he is? What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> Jesse's got a kind of proud, proud figure. Waffle. Okay, so one of the ladies wanted to hold somebody's hand, so I said, Jesse's. Um, Jesse will hold your hand, and I said he's actually a, a professional hand holder, and he's and we, she still believes that he gets paid to hold people's hands. So I thought it was one of the funniest jokes. She asked for my number. Okay, so that's how good he is at holding hands. So one of the benefits is if you need a hand holder, just ask for Jesse. This is a pro, right, Jesse? All right. So what we do is we put this little tablet underneath the chin. Jesse, do you have some wax syringes? And then what we do is we... Okay, we'll do that after. Yeah, no, we'll be fine. So we have the light here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just make the template... Oh, this is the water. Sorry, oh, uh, is it cold? I usually am pretty good about telling people what to expect. And I've known Michelle so long, I just took pictures of in my mind. Uh, Michelle, we've known each other for what, 15 years, 15 years? Yeah. What's that? I'm oh, sorry about that voice for that. Um, no, I can borrow that. Okay, so you can see there that the dots are on her face, and so it tells us where we can inject because there are certain certain areas where we could experience um, complications. This is a very safe uh, procedure. The, the side effects are the ones we would expect, expect when we inject. We could get redness, bruising, swell. And then there's been some... Uh, reported cases of a little bit of a nerve paresis where it's a little bit numb or sore on the margin of the mandibular nerve. But if we count the dots, I'm not going to do it because I know the count, but it, it would tell us when we look at the chart that we're going to use one vial on her. So the uh, other minor side effect, thank you, Jesse, is a little bit of discomfort when we do the... <laughs> oh, my God. So what did you do here? <laughs> She, she had a little too much Botox this week, so she's drooling now. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to focus in on these fatty areas here, which really, Michelle, she'll tilt your chin down for me, please. So there's one collection right here, and that's really it. It's just really right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to inject the numbing so we know exactly where we're going to put well, not to know exactly, but the, so we don't have any discomfort. Now, one of the things that is a downside to this is that there is a little bit of swelling in this area for one to two weeks. Yeah, is this, okay. So now, here's the injectable. 
the Kybella. And what we do is the, the dots not only tell us how much to inject, but it also tells us where to inject. Okay, so what we'll do is it's pretty simple. I'm going to go right by the dots. And typically, this is going to be one to two treatments. They, when they initially came out with our it's about two treatments for most people. Okay, and that is it. Um, because you have such a small area, that's all we're going to do. Let's have a little bit over here, so we just a little bit on the side too. Now, how's the discomfort, Michelle? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, great. Okay, great. And um, the, the thing that's great, Michelle hasn't had a base look, but from what my colleague says is this gives a nice little lift in this area. And um, she's been using it in patients up to 65 or 70 for this. So I'm excited to get some more people um, using this product because, you know, like I said, I've always been excited about the inflammatory response that will cause tissue tightness. So how was that, Michelle? No okay. No, super easy. Okay, do we have any questions? Yes. Sure. Uh, the question is, what's the length of time between treatments? And it's a month between each treatment. Yeah. Any other questions? How many treatments? Typically, you know, when they did the clinical trials, they were saying between two to six treatments. But my colleagues that are doing a lot of this, and I have some very, um, some colleagues that I really respect, are telling me it's typically two to three treatments. So, and I mean, these people are going crazy over because they say it's so incredible. Like, so. My staff is actually starting to get treatments. I, I'm running around pitching chins and saying, that's Justin, get over here. <laughs> Justin, let me pitch your How chin. How long does it take to dissolve the fat? Um, you'll start to see results in about uh, one to three months. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Any other questions? Does anybody want to line up for me to pick some chins? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sure. Okay, so, you know, I, there are three things that we have in our practice that we do. We have liposuction, we have cool sculpt, and then we have the Kybella. The advantage to the liposuction is you get a little bit of tissue contraction and it's a one-time treatment. The disadvantage is a lot of people are not liking the idea of invasive procedures. Even though it's a five-minute procedure, a lot of people want to shy away from it. Um, the cool sculpt is great because it's completely non-invasive. There are no needles. It's a 45-minute procedure, one and done in most cases. So sometimes you'll need two treatments. But with a Kybella, what's great is it gets that inflammatory response and so it's going to cause some tissue tightening. And we're seeing a, a, a lifting type effect because it's, it's causing that contraction. And this is anecdotal, which means that I have heard this from my colleagues who are super excited. But anytime one of my respected colleagues who I trained, this girl, this woman I trained as a, a UFC resident, and she was one of the smartest people I've ever met. And she is just saying this is the best thing that ever happened. So I'm excited. Yes, question. Oh, that's a very good question, and it's, yes, I love that question. It's do you, you, do you just pick one or do you combine? And in our practice, we do a lot of combination therapy. And, but what I just heard, and I can't remember where I heard this, was that people are using the cool sculpt first, and then they're doing the Kybella, because cool sculpt will get rid of the fat, and it's not getting the tissue tightening. So they're doing combination there. In our practice, what we oftentimes will do is we'll do um, either liposuction or cool sculpt, and then we combine it with a bell shape. And the bell shape is a really great device because it's got the heat and it's got suction, and it's got um, so the heat and suction lead to tissue tightening and smoothing. So if you've either had cool sculpt and you have a little bunch bump um, bump that you want to eliminate, the bella is terrific for that. And for next, you know, we'll combine it with liposuction, we'll combine it with, uh, we have a weight loss center, where if you lose weight, we'll use it to tighten the skin. But now with the Kybella, I'm really excited to see how much tissue tightening we can get relative to the, um, the, the, the Bella shape. Yes, question. Are you going to take the dots off for neck before she leaves? Oh, that's half fun. We're getting the dots on. <laughs> yeah, we'll take the dots off for it.
Yes, absolutely. See, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to make her walk around with hickeys and dots. <laughs> and drools. <laughs> and drools. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Any other questions? Yes. Forever. Yeah, it's forever. Now, this is one of the nice things, because with a lot of the injectables, they do go away over time. Nice thing is with the new products, we're getting um, longer duration. Like with the Bloom, we're getting two years. Cultural, we're getting two years. Um, but with these type of treatments, they do last forever. Now, the only sad thing is we continue to age. And so, you know, a lot of people want to get one facelift, and they want to do one facelift for their whole life. And guess what? We continue to age, we lose collagen, and elastic fibers, and after, you know, three years, five years, you need another facelift. But it's always a combination, you know, like a facelift isn't going to give you a youthful look necessarily. You need to do the facelifts plus, 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 plus. So, any other questions? Okay, thank you guys. Thank you all for coming.